Businessmen across Kenya have welcomed the launch of Uganda's first ever Islamic bank as demand for services grows exponentially in East Africa. Now, Kenya has been leading in the region in this segment of banking. However, Islamic banks still form less than 10% of all commercial banks in Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. Investors now say that Uganda's entry into this category is timely for a sector that has exhi exhibited massive potential. Estimates by various analysts, including the World Bank, show that global Islamic finance assets could reach as much as $3.8 trillion by the year 2024. I welcome you, Salam Bank, to Uganda. This is a big market. The population of Uganda is 48 million now. Hope attracts investments from individuals and institutions seeking Sharia-compliant financial instruments from the international market, thereby attracting direct foreign investment into the country. I'm confident, Your Excellency, that the government of Uganda will embrace Cook wholeheartedly because of its immense benefits. Your Excellency, Islamic finance also offers murabaha, a product that facilitates trade for individuals and businesses without resorting to interest-based financing. Murabaha promotes transparency, risk sharing, because it involves a tangible asset whose cost and profit margin are known by both parties upfront and avoids speculative transactions. I trust that the business community in Uganda will be eager to access this product as an alternative to the conventional products. Indeed, very good uh, developments. They're deepening Islamic banking.